Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic Survival Mode. And today we're going to be doing some more experiments with bosses and stuff. Uh, I got my glow bugs being fed right now. I've been trying to keep up with uh, making sure that I feed them on a regular basis. And so far it's been working great. They ha None of them have disappeared yet, which is great. Uh, none of them have died or exploded or whatever, because I know that if you don't feed them for a while, I think they do just, like, explode. So, we're gonna let this run out, and let's go check out our cows in the meantime. But, the idea for today's episode is something that I've seen tossed around in the comments, on my Discord, even on Twitter, I think, for a while now. And I'm finally gonna give it a try. And there's this method to potentially- oh. Oh. Our cows are not doing well. Our, our cows, our, our cows are really not doing well at all. Can we get, um, can we get an F, an F in the, ch you know, you don't deserve, you don't, you don't deserve, you don't, you do not deserve to stay alive after what I've seen over here. <laughs> okay, so the experiment with the, uh, the wooden cow pen has come to an end. We now know what happens when we put cows in a wooden pen. Maybe at some point I'll refine these down into actual wood, but um, everyone pay their respects to Calbert and the other Calberts. Okay, so as I was saying, um, the idea for today's episode is to build an additional offensive mechanism on our offensive like scout vehicle thing. Oh, I forgot that I still have to do, I have to modify these bridges now that I've cut them to try to reduce lag. And it does seem like it has reduced lag a little bit, but there's another thing I'm gonna to try to do to reduce lag as well. So the idea is we're gonna to have to make a bunch of wheels, but some of you may remember back in the old days of scrap mechanic creative mode, a really popular fun little mechanism to play with was to just put uh, some wheels on a max speed engine rotating. And if you walk onto those wheels, they send you flying because of the amount of speed that they are. They're like just, it just like a, it, it works like a catapult almost, but it's like a conveyor belt catapult thing. So apparently if you put that kind of mechanism on the front of your car and then charge into a boss, you can essentially send the boss hundreds of feet up into the air and they end up dying when they land, like instantly. So I want to give that a try and see if it works as well for me. Now I got to give credit where credit is due. I think this idea comes from another YouTube channel, a smaller YouTube channel that you guys should definitely check out. And this channel is Mediocre Milton. He's only got 1,000, oh, 111, look at that, 1.11 thousand subscribers. And the video that, I, that I've had linked to me a few times is this one right here. The easiest video game boss I've ever faced. And he demonstrates how to build this and how it works and everything like that. So, and definitely go check out this channel, because if you see, it seems like a very, very informative channel. A lot of interesting tips and tri tricks in the Scrap Mechanic Survival in particular. So, if you're into that kind of thing, go ahead and give Mediocre Milton here uh, a sub. And maybe he will no longer be Mediocre Milton, but become Better Milton. Oh, he's probably going to stay mediocre, Milton. That's the channel name. Never mind. All right. So in order to build this, we're going to need a bunch of small wheels and another. Do I need another level five engine? I'm going to need another level five engine, I think. So I need to make eight wheels. I hope I, I should have enough beeswax, but what else do we need? Oh, yeah, we got plenty. One, two, three, four. And five, six, seven, eight. All right, and while those are crafting, I'm gonna try a frame rate thing. A lot of people have just been suggesting to weld my vehicles up so that they're not like attached to my base anymore. And another thing I might wanna do is I might wanna separate the glow farm from my base as well. So it's just on its own uh, attachments to the ground rather than everything being one unit. Cause I think that's the big issue right now is this entire base is just a single unit. All right, so now as an experiment here with lag, let's see if this helps at all, at all. I have 36 to 41 frames right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some of these vehicles and I'm just going to weld them up off of the ground here so that they are no longer gonna be in constant collision with the base. And we're gonna see if my frame rate gets increased at all. All right, so now that all of my vehicles are welded up and are no longer resting on, well, minus this one, let's put this one on a lift. That way it's like, it's similar. Now I have 36, 30, 38, 40. All right, it didn't make a difference. So that did not make a difference, unfortunately. 
But one of the things I think could make a difference is what if we separate all of this from all of that? Oh, wait, that's harder than I thought it was going to be. It's connected from so many areas. Wow, okay, this is, yeah, that's not going to be easy because we need to separate there. We need to separate here, here. All right, I think I can, I can do that. All right, I'm going to try to keep these towers are going to stay attached to this main base, and I'm going to try to separate this whole wooden area from that front area of the base and see if that helps. So now, where should I do the separation here? I guess I could do it like... Oh, it's going to look terrible up here, though. I guess I could do it like right here. Yeah, see, I don't like that. I wish that, I wish that we didn't have to do stuff like this. But, oh, and I got, of course, I got to do this as well. Okay, so now I think only one section remains that attaches this whole area to this whole area where all my vehicles are. So let's see if this makes a difference now. I just want to make sure that I'm not going to ruin everything. Um, these are all, these all have backup attachment points, so that should hold it up. All right, I separate this and let's see, we go from 36 frames to... Oh! I'm at... 55 frames now that did it that was an improvement right there all right so that was the issue is just my base was too big my base was just one massive thing that needed to be segmented so now i have all these annoying segment sections that are going to bother me until we get some like wedge pieces or something that we can fill in these gaps with but have no official connection all right, so that saved us a little bit. Um, so hopefully that'll help out anybody who's having frame rate issues with massive bases. Just create some separation points in between the major parts of your base. Oh yeah, all right, so now I'm gonna get my wheels and stuff. Man, I um, I need to get some more store. I need to organize this or something, but it's so hard to organize some of this sometimes because it just, out I'm, out I'm making and inputting and outputting all kinds of different things at different times. I don't get to designate certain chests to receive certain outputs, you know? All right, we got our level five engine. I got bearings and I got other building materials. Do I have my metal on me? I have my metal on me too. So let's go ahead and build this. And hopefully this is gonna work the way that they say it's gonna work. All right, so I have to attach this to the front somehow. Like right there could work, but I want it to be, I, don't, I wanna make sure it's not gonna be in the way of this gun. So I think I want it to be able to fold up and out of the way. So that way I can choose if I want to use the gun or the wheel thing. Because I think that the wheel thing uh, can kill the bosses, but I think the haybots are immune to fall damage, at least based off of what my traps are doing. So just in case, I want to be able to use my gun on the front here as a uh, backup. And I should probably I should probably load that thing back up, shouldn't I? We're empty. Yeah, I need to get some more spud ammo. But I'm also going to use tier 3 metal to build this as well. So hopefully I can, here, let me take this thing off the lift. All right, I, I'm hoping that I can have this thing down where I want it to be without it getting in the way of these wheels. Oh, oh, I don't know. You know what? I think I can still do it. We're just going to have to have this at a bit of an angle here. All right, so now if I put a bearing right there and then I need to do this whole wheel situation. I just go wheel, block, wheel, block, wheel, block, wheel, block, wheel, block, wheel. And I think that brings us to where we need to go. I made two extra wheels. I just realized I need a controller as well so I can lift this arm up and down. So now we build out symmetrically on this side. And then we get our weld tool and make sure everything is all welded up. All right, so now this thing, we go ahead and hook that up to this engine. And I think I have a, I have a gas tank on here, right? Where's my gas tank? All right, we hook up the gas tank into that engine. How are we doing on fuel? We're doing good on fuel. So we want to go in this direction. You want to spin back towards your vehicle like that. And let's just bump it up to max. Oh boy. Oh, that is insane. That is insane how fast that is. So basically, if something runs into that, they are, they're gonna be dead. Oh no, what happens if I have this on and then it hits the ground? Okay, that's fine. All right, I am really interested to see how this is gonna work. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I want this to be able to, if I press a button, I wanna be able to take it up out of the way. So I'm gonna put this at like 135. Okay, we can go more than that. 
Yeah, check that out. <laughs> oh man, that makes this thing look weird, doesn't it? So I can go ahead and put it down. Just like that. Maybe I should upgrade this controller a little bit so it's faster, but I don't think I think it'll be fine for its purposes. And then we can bring it up out of the way, and that gives our spud gun a chance to do its work. Alright, so I think that works pretty well. Man, that noise is intimidating. Alright, let's get some fuel, let's get some spuds, and let's go out on an adventure and start flinging things in the air, I hope, if this works as intended. Alright, and just to keep this thing looking nice, let's go ahead and paint it up in congruence with the rest of the vehicle, and I don't think I... Oh no. Oh man, I missed out on that. All right, I don't think I have enough to paint up. No, I'm all out of paint now. Do I have more paint up here? I think I have more paint up here, I hope. Where is my paint? I wish there was like a like a menu hub, kind of like this, but except it just shows what you have in the connected system of inventory somehow, some way. There we go, there's 10. That should be enough actually. Red, red, red. All right. Now I think we're ready to go do some things. Oh, this will be interesting. I'm going to jump off of the... Actually, my weight's probably just going to make it come down anyway. All right, you ready for this? You ready for this? I really got to fix these bridges, but this is fun. <laughs> hey, Hank is still here. Hey, Hank. He's not even paying attention to me. He's like, he's like, we've been, we've been through so much. He just watched me kill his family in the last raid with the potatoes. Look, he's ignoring me. He's giving me the silent treatment. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you want me to... You don't you don't like having these around? They remind you. Look, he's frustrated. He's sad and frustrated. Aw. I kind of feel bad for taunting him like that. Alright, I'll, I'll move these out of the way for you, Hank. We'll move these over here. I'm sorry you had to watch your your brethren get destroyed. But hey, they attacked me. I was it was self-defense. I was just defending my farm. I needed ammo so I could kill more of them. All right, well, let's test it on the little greenie guy right here. I hope this works. I'm really concerned with the big bosses because when they run at something, they do damage, like when they hit it. So I'm worried that it's just gonna destroy us. But here, let's go ahead and activate it. And we're just gonna run into this guy and see what happens. Um, that wasn't, that wasn't supposed to be what happens. <laughs> Maybe it's not low enough to the ground. Okay. All right, it doesn't work on those. Maybe those guys just might be too low. Let's see if it works on a Haybot. All right, hold on a second here. All right, it's on. Am I, am I, is it spinning in the wrong direction? Am I spinning too fast, maybe? All right, let's do this guy. All right, that's clearly, clearly it's not working. Please don't hit it. Okay, here, let's bring it up. Oh, no, wrong button. Bring it up out of the way. And, man, I got all kinds of stuff after me right now. There we go. Come on. There we go. All right, now that that threat is out of the way, here, let's do a test on myself. If I jump on it, which way does it fling me? Okay, that should be the correct direction, right? Maybe it wasn't low enough. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it might just be that it wasn't low enough. Here, I'm gonna up the suspension on the front so there's a little bit less sway. And we're gonna put this down by another few degrees. I want it as close to the ground as possible, but without actually touching the ground. Like, that looks pretty good right there. All right, now let's find another bot and see what happens. There's one, and a cow. Oh, and a greenie right here. Maybe it's too fast. Do you think there's a chance that, ooh, ooh, ooh. Do you think there's a chance that it's just too fast? Yeah, that's not working. Let's try the cow and the hay bots over here then. Oh no, that did not work. Oh, oh, it worked. I was losing hope for a second. Okay, that time it didn't work. Why did it work? Oh, okay, we're, we're doing something to this guy. All right, excuse me, excuse me. Oh. <laughs> what am I doing? All right, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. I'm really concerned now about how it's gonna function. That's weird. I'm really concerned now about what's gonna happen with the big guys. All right, come on. Come at me. 
It doesn't want to lift him up for some reason. All right, well, now he's dead. You know what? I kind of want to try another cow. There's a cow. All right, let's try this guy. <laughs> that was so high. Let's do it again. Hey, 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 no, 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 no. Oh, I'm sorry, cow. All right, let's see what happens if we chase the cow here. Yes. Okay, now I feel more confident about if we find a boss bot. All right, this is good. This is good. Okay, um, so we know that that has potential. So I'm gonna save real quick, just in case we break this against the boss bot and uh, let's go try it against one of the big red guys. All right, now supposedly this is supposed to be fatal for the big red guys, but first I gotta find one. So let's head out and try to find one. Oh, I got another cow on the way here though. I have to try it on the cow again. All right, and... <laughs> <laughs> there is so much air time. That is amazing. All right, so I'm heading over to the burned boss biome, which is right over there. Now, a couple days ago in game time, I cleared this area so I could build that invincible cube. So I'm hoping that by now they've respawned and I'll be able to find them here. All right, here we are. We have another minute or two of daytime left or a couple minutes of daytime left. But are there any... Oh, there we go. I see one. The terrain is not ideal for this, though. I don't know if I have to be, like... I don't know if I have to have speed when I'm going at them or not. But... I guess here it goes. I'm turning it on. All right, we're going to charge at them right now. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <gasps> oh, no. He didn't die. He didn't die. I thought it was supposed to kill him. There he goes. There's another hit. Is he dead? There we go. That was two hits. It wasn't a single hit like the like I've been told, but maybe that was just we be, we didn't fling him high enough that time. And great, now we're getting more warehouse keys. <laughs> All right, let's find more. Let's try some more. All right, here we go. This time he's charging. The other guy wasn't charging me. Oh, I'm nervous. I am nervous. <gasps> he survived. What? What? I can't. Uh oh, I can't stay in my seat. I can't believe that just happened. What did I just witness? So that did a lot of damage to him just below what would have killed him. And I think it's might have been because we we sprung him up from lower ground to higher ground, so we didn't fall quite as far as he would have if it was the other direction. But now, of course, we have um, we have nighttime coming upon. Whoa, whoa! My vehicle's automatically going. We have nighttime coming upon us, so I might. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I need to get out of here because I'm not gonna be able to see. I'm not gonna be able to navigate my way through this in the middle of the night. I might need to wait again till daytime, but this is good because now we have a non-ammo way to deal with bosses on this vehicle. This is like my ultimate defensive and offensive vehicle. It's like completely protected with blades and drills from the smaller bots. And then for the big guys, I can shoot them in a couple of seconds or I can fling them into the air now. All right, so it's too dark really to do anything. So I'm gonna wait until daytime and I'm, I'm determined to get a one a one hit kill, a one launch kill. Cause so far as you've seen, each one uh, did not die after the first launch. I guess in the meantime, I'll go try to get some oil and stuff from this lake. All right, guys, the sun's finally up. Uh, this is my lootings, my progress from the night. I got a whole bunch of oil and I actually found a bunch of treasure chests and caves and stuff. So I got nine component kits. I got a seat, actually, some chemicals, some beets and stuff. Cir well, I see the circuit board is from before. Actually, no, I think I got a couple of circuit boards, even a sports suspension. So yeah, it was actually a pretty good night. So now that it's daytime, let's go ahead and try to one shot a boss. All right, I need to get the guy's attention and I need to back out of here. Okay, it's gonna happen like any second now. Cause I'm pretty sure I need to launch him on equal ground. There we go, oh man. Oh man, he came fast. Usually they do like this scream thing where they're just stationary for a couple seconds. 
Well, that time he just started running immediately. All right, here we go. This looks good, right? This looks like a good area. I think this is a good area. All right, activate the wheels. Why'd you stop? Come at me. Come at me, bro. No, where are you going? I'm right here. I'm right behind you. I'm not even that quiet. Dude, come on. What? What is this? This is like the least threatening a boss has ever been to me. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Come after me this time. There we go. All right. I don't have a lot of room behind me. This is not ideal, but let's hope for the best. All right, come on. Nope. Nope, still not a one shot. Still not a, whoa. Oh! <gasps> what? What happened that time? My whole thing just got destroyed. Okay, well, it's a good thing I was smart and I actually backed up right before I went after that boss. So let's spawn back in so we can have our vehicle back. What? Oh, <gasps> guys. This is where I saved, but my vehicle is gone. I was in my vehicle when I saved right here. My vehicle is gone. What? Wait, what? Can someone please explain to me what just happened? I saved... Uh, what? I was driving right here, and I was like, before I actually get this boss's attention, let me back up my save file. So I backed up my save file right here, and I am still here, but my vehicle teleported all the way over there. That That's strange. That That's some odd stuff right there. So I'm going to go run over to my vehicle, and <laughs> we're going to try this again. All right, here we are again. I have backed up my save file again over where my vehicle was. So hopefully, if we have to restart, we'll be near our vehicle. Now I'm going to try my best to get this guy's attention and then back out of here. Oh boy, that was that was almost a failure. All right, come on. Still coming after me. I want to make sure it's nice and flat this time. He's still coming after me. Okay, good, good, good. All right, here we go. This is perfect. This is perfect right here. So flat. All right, let's get after him. Yes, that felt good. Why can't we one-shot him? He likes to shoot from the air, too. That's interesting. Okay. Alright, we it's still two shots. I think if we're gonna one-shot one, it might be required for us to actually send him onto a lower area from where we launch him from. I don't know how, but I'm gonna try to do that with this next guy. But this next guy is really deep in here, so it's gonna be difficult to get him out of here. I'm gonna have to do some pro level, pro gamer driving. Need for speed right here. Need for speed most wanted by the boss bots. Okay. All right, come on. Hey, there's some blocks of mine. There's blocks of mine around here from when I was doing some stuff in here. Okay, here we go, here we go. Here we go. I have an interesting idea. I'm gonna lead him to the water. I don't know why. I just wanna see what happens if I launch him into the water. What'll he do? All right, let's start putting this down. The water's over here. I just need to make sure that I stay in his line of sight and he should keep coming after me. Okay. Okay, here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes! <laughs> What's happening? I've never seen a bot. Oh, 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 he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. He's just not animating. He's coming, he's coming. Go, 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 run, 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 run. Go, go, go. This is so weird. This is, we're doing some weird stuff with the bosses here. We're doing some really, really weird stuff with the bosses here. 
All right, we still haven't gotten a single hit. I don't know, did maybe something changed in between when Meteor or Milton releases video and then when I'm trying out the idea, but I don't know if there are any more left in here. I think we got them. Oh no, there's one, I see one. All right, this is actually really dangerous because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to outrun this guy. Oh no, he's gonna catch up to me, I think. Yeah, he's gonna catch up to me. I'm gonna have to put a barrier in the way. Oh no, it's the wrong way. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. I don't want him to get after my vehicle, though. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ow! Oh, boy, this is bad. This is really bad. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die here. It's okay. It's okay if I die here. Alright, let's try to, uh, get him trapped behind this tree. Oh, he just charged right through the tree. Okay, that's a thing he can do. How about this tree? Okay. All right, let's get out. Okay, he gave me a little bit of a head start there. A little bit of a boost. Okay. Might regret this. Oh, good, 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 good. Perfect. Perfect. You know what? Now I can launch him down into here, I hope. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. Here he comes. Please work, please work, please work. Okay, that was one shot. He's still alive. That was not a kill shot. Okay. So let's see what happens. How many how many of these shots does he take then after that? One, two. He's so close to dead. He's like right on the edge of his health pretty much. I forgot to bring a toilet with me. Oh, but I have this seat now, so we're good. All right, let's go ahead and get the loot from him. So yeah, it appears that uh, it's definitely not a one-hit kill for me. Um, and if it is possible, it still might be possible to get a one-hit kill, I guess, because it's clear that with two potatoes is all it takes to kill him afterwards. It's pretty clear that he's really, really close to dead. But I guess uh, it's not going to be a reliable thing. But out of all of the stuff that I've done to the bosses, I think that this is by far the most effective when it comes to uh, ending them. <laughs> kind of a dark way of putting it, but I think... I think it's accurate. <laughs> so yeah, we got ourselves one, two, three, four, five more boss keys now. <laughs> We're on our way to building a base that is completely invincible made out of boss keys. All right, so I'm gonna head back home with my loot. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of this. And if you guys have more suggestions on crazy experiments or ideas you'd like to see, let me know down in the comments below. And definitely head over to Mediocre Milton's channel and tell him that I sent you. Give a subscribe if you like the content that you see. And uh, thanks, Milton, for showing off this awesome idea and uh, inspiring me to give it a try and see how it works. All right, if you want to see some more awesome scrap mechanic content on the channel, then you're going to want to check out these playlists on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.